In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I build out 100% auto blogging affiliate websites, promoting products from Amazon and other affiliate networks using this AI tool called AI Wise Mind. So this is AI Wise Mind. This is the tool I'm going to be showing you here in a minute how I'm going to set up and automate my affiliate websites that rank. And I'm going to prove to you that these rank. So this is one of my websites that I use for launch jacking. You can even see my picture right here. So you know this is my website. Now, just to give you an idea, this was a post that was added on July 17th, two days ago. So if we take this product name plus review and do a search for it on Google, and you can do this yourself, you're going to see that right now, two days ago, this is ranking number one. This article was 100% generated using AI Wise Mind. And you can go down through this list and check all of these. Nearly all of them you're going to find on the first page of Google, even close to the top. So in this one, you see here there's a lot more competition, but right under the videos is my website here, vidsociety.com, six days ago. Once again, this was 100% built using AI Wise Mind. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is start from scratch and build out a website on some Amazon products known as laptop screen extenders. This is something I bought myself last week. I loved it. I found out it's really kind of a newer product. There's not a whole lot of competition. So we're going to build an entire website around it and promote these products. And I'm going to let AI WiseMind automate the entire website. So the first thing I did is I went and bought a domain name. Surprisingly, ScreenExtenders.com was available. So that's what I bought. You can see here, this is my website. I just installed the theme. If you want to know the theme I'm using, I'll put the link for it below this video. If I do a search on Amazon for screen extenders, you can see this has 938 results. Obviously, this is a lot. Now, the problem is, is being able to create reviews for every one of these products that I want added to my website. So instead, I'll be using AI Wise Mind to do this automatically. It'll go through this entire list, page after page after page, creating these product reviews that will rank in Google. Now, the first thing I need to do is get this website set up. I need to add all of my legal pages and the basic pages that you'd normally find on a website. This is important because Google can manually review your site and it likes to see this information. Luckily, AI Wise Mind will do this for you. So I'm going to jump back over to AI Wise Mind. I'm going to go under the section that says connect sites and I'm going to fill out this information so we can actually connect our website to AI Wise Mind. Now I just click on connect WordPress site. Now we're going to jump over to site wizard and we're going to fill out these details. What we enter in the site description box, AI Wise Mind is going to use to create all of our default pages regarding the about, contact, privacy, disclosure, and terms of use pages. This way, all you have to do is manually go in and check for the information. Just make sure it's correct. Maybe make a few changes. Other than that, it's also going to install some default plugins for you. Remove some that you don't like, such as the Hello Dolly and the Askamet if you want it to, and also remove default posts and pages. This is how I like to set mine up. I like to have these plugins installed. The YouTube Embed Plus allows your videos to be responsive, so it shows the full width of your post and makes them look much better. You can also generate an author bio, so it will create a bio for you based upon what you have entered in the description above. And if you want your permalink structure set up properly, I highly recommend you do this. Tick this box. It'll also automatically generate some categories for you to use on your website to get started. So let me go ahead and scroll up here and fill out this information. So here I jump back over to chat GPT and I told it to write a short description for a website called laptop screen extenders that talks about laptop screen extenders and reviews the products. And this is what it gave me. So I'm just going to take this and copy it and we're going to paste it in the site description box. Now that everything's filled out, we can click on start site setup. Now this is going to take about five minutes for it to create all this content and get it added to our website. So while it's doing that, I can go ahead and start getting the campaign set up to create the questions and also the product reviews. Now, since I'm using a brand new domain for this, I need to start building up authority as fast as possible. So one way you can do that is by providing a lot of information on your website around this topic. 
So here I am on ChatGPT. I did a search for what are some common questions people ask about laptop extenders. It gave me a list of 20 questions. Now I could have asked it to give me a list of 50 or 100 or even more, but it gave me 20 and that'll be enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of these questions and copy them. So here we are under campaigns. We have several different types we can create such as informational, Amazon product reviews, or product reviews of any other type of product. For this one, since we're gonna do 20 questions, I'm gonna leave it on informational post and I'm gonna give it a name. And now I'm gonna paste in those 20 questions in this box. By default, AI Wise Mind will create names for every one of these articles that it creates. But I wanted to keep what I have here as the name for each article. So I'm gonna tick this box that says use keywords as the title. Now we have a context box here where we can add a little more information into it, such as a product name or brand name, or even related keywords that we wanna make sure gets entered into this content, but this is fine. I don't need anything added right here. Now let's look at the embeds. Here you can have the option to add video embeds, which basically what it's gonna do is search YouTube for relevant videos from what your article is and embed those into your article. Then you also have the option to add images. Now. I will say if you wanna add images, just be careful and use them at your own risk because you can extract images from URLs and use them in your article as well as Google search images. But many websites do not want you doing this and many of these images may be copyrighted. So what I normally do is I untick Google search images and if I'm approved from the affiliate network to use the images from their website, then I will go ahead and leave this one checked. You can also choose to find images from Pixabay or have AI generated images created for you by Dolly. Now, this is what I use most of the time just because I know for sure there's no copyright issues from it, but these images sometimes always don't look the best. Since these are informational posts and I didn't add any URLs, there's really nowhere for it to extract images from. So I'll just go ahead and leave this one ticked. And then I wanna uncheck these two. But when I go down and I have AI Wise Mind to auto generate featured images for my website, it's gonna automatically use Dolly for that. Now, while these images aren't necessarily the best, it is a way to add featured images automatically and you don't have to worry about copyright issues. You can also add a copyright disclosure underneath all of the images that shows where the image was used or taken from. Basically, you're giving credit back to the website where you got the image from. But keep in mind, this is still risky because a lot of people, regardless if you give them credit or provide a copyright disclosure, you can still get in trouble for copywriting their images. Under content customization, this is set up by default to give you the best results. My recommendation is not to change it. The only thing that I change once in a while is I will change the tone of voice from friendly to conversational. But of course, if you want this output put in a different language, you can tick this box and you can scroll through here and find the language that you want it in and simply click it and that's what your article will be in. Other than that, your point of view can be changed. The content length, I highly recommend you leave it around 1500 words because your articles will most likely be anywhere from 1200 to 2000 words, which is more than enough for the majority of these products that you want to rank. Next, the total number of posts to create. Well, since we have 20 different questions up here, you can see the count is 20. What we wanna do is make sure that we have 20 in this box. And so what it's gonna do is it's gonna create 20 different articles, one for each question we have added up here. Now I have the choice to schedule this. I can publish on a schedule and I can choose how many posts I wanna create per day, per hour, week, month, or even year. So I can schedule these out for as long as I want to. So it'll automatically keep our blog updated with fresh and new content. But for this purpose, I want this content posted now. I wanna have a lot of posts on my website so it can start taking off. So I'm just gonna do publish immediately. Down here, I'm gonna do post to WordPress. I'm gonna pick the website I just set up, which is laptop screen extenders. If you have a site group you wanna to post to instead, which is multiple sites, you can do that. You can also set your post status. If you want it to be published, pending, or draft, maybe you wanna edit it first before it goes live on your website, you can do that. Or if you don't wanna publish this to your WordPress site, you can leave this unticked and it'll save your content under the content tab up here where you can review it and even edit it within your AI Wise Mind dashboard and then publish it directly from here to your website. Finally, we have auto-generate featured image. I'm gonna leave that. We have auto-generate tags. I wanted to do that 
and then also generate category. I don't want it to auto generate the category. So I'm going to untick this box. Now down here, if you click in this box, it's going to show you all the categories that are currently on your website, as long as it's synced up for it. Now, since we just set this up, you can see down here, it's not showing any categories except for the default blog. So what I'm going to do is come down here and click save as draft. So I'm going to jump back over to connect sites. I'm going to make sure I'm on this website, which is screenextenders.com, and I'm going to click on sync category. Now we're going to give it just a second here. We're going to refresh the page and then all the categories that AI WiseMind automatically created for us, we should see down here. So let's refresh it. So down here, you can see all the categories that automatically created for us. Now, if you don't want these categories, you don't have to use them. You can add your own. You can log into your WordPress site and delete them or whatever you want to do. Let's jump back over to our campaign. Now we're going to scroll back down and add my site again. And now if we click here, you're going to see all of the categories. Now, these are questions about this type of product that I'm going to be posting. And I really don't see any type of a category for that. So what I can do is come over here and click the plus sign and just add my own category name right here. I'm just going to title this popular questions and click create. And so when it starts posting this content, it'll automatically create the category for us called popular questions. I'm going to go ahead and click save and run now. Now, if I jump over to the content section, you can see immediately it is already creating this content for us. And you can see the title here, the type of post it is, which is informational and then the status of each one of them. Let's click on this again to refresh it. And you can see here now that each one of them is running and normally it only takes about a minute or less for each article to be created. You can see this first one is already done with about 1200 words and it's publishing it right now to the website. But all the other ones, look at this one here, 2700 words, 22, 22, 25, most of these over 2000 words and they've already been published to our website. So let's jump over to our website and see what it looks like. So here we are back on our website and now you can see all the posts were generated here. These featured images, once again, created by Dolly. They're not the best, but they'll work fine for this. Up here, you can see our category I added to my menu called popular questions. Another one here for product reviews we're going to be adding in a minute. And then under about us, you can see the pages that were automatically generated by AI wise mind. Let's open these up and take a look at each one here real quick. The about us page is very well laid out. You can see here where it gives a lot of information about what this website is. If we jump over to the terms of use, you can see our website address here. It automatically adds in as well as all this content. And if we jump over to disclosure, it's the same way, the privacy policy and the contact us page. Now for this one, you'd probably want to come up here, click on edit page and edit the contact information and details to make sure it fits your email addresses. So let's jump into this for a second. We'll come up here and click on the popular questions category and we can see this is very well laid out. And if we come down, let's just click on one of these here. You can see we got our title. And then down here, have you ever wondered about the difference between a laptop extender and an external monitor? Well, wonder no more because I'm here to shed some light on the topic. And then it goes into this question and really breaks it down, including adding a video here that's relevant to it, a full table of contents in H2 and H3. And if we scroll on down, you can just see the amount of content that was added to this neatly organized and structured. Now that we have that, we want to get started with adding our product reviews in this category. So let's jump back over to Amazon. Now, what I want AI WiseMind to do is to go through this list of all these products you see on here and even go to the next page and the next one and keep going to continue reviewing all of these products and adding them to my website. So what we're going to do is we're going to take part of this URL, which has the keyword search in it, and we're going to copy it. We're going to jump back over to a new campaign, click on Amazon product review, and we're going to leave it on single product review for each post. And we're going to paste in this URL. Now we're going to give it a name. I'm calling this one laptop extenders 100. We're going to scroll down and enter our Amazon affiliate ID. You can choose your Amazon domain here. Once again, you can add video embeds and images for this one for images. I'm going to turn off this one this one and this one and just use Amazon product reviews. I'm going to leave everything the same under customization for this. I'm going to make it a hundred and what it's going to do is just scroll through and automatically create product reviews of a hundred different products found using that URL that we pasted in. 
Now we're going to click on post to WordPress. We're going to choose our site. I'm going to have it auto generate a featured image, auto generate the tags, but under the categories, I'm going to untick this, click category and choose product reviews. Now, the other thing I want to do is up here, you can see a hundred. Now I don't want all of these to publish immediately. So I'm going to do these on a schedule. So we'll click this box and let's say I want to do five a day. So we'll click five, make sure it's on every day, come down and click create. Now, if I jump back over to content, you can see where it's scheduling all these product reviews, all 100 of them. And you can see it's going to go out a week from now for some of these, because remember, we're only going to do five a day. So it's going to take a while for them to do. And right here, we can see one of them that's already in the process of being created. I refresh the page again, and you can see this here is the first product review. It's done and it's publishing it to the website now. Now you can see one under here that says cruise luggage tags. So this is actually another campaign that I'm running and it was also scheduled and apparently it was scheduled to run about the same time. So that's why it went ahead and created it. All these other ones you can see are scheduled out where it's going to do five a day. Now these are random. So it randomly creates and posts them throughout the day. So you don't have to worry about it generating two, three, four, or five posts all at once, but instead it's going to spread them out through the 24 hour period. So it looks more natural. Let's refresh this one more time and we can see it's now published. So what we can do is we can come over to these three dots and click it and we can actually view the post right here, but we have a lot of other options. We can also download this article. We can regenerate it again. If we make changes to this article directly within your AI wise mind dashboard, you can click on update and it will update it to your WordPress website automatically. So you don't even have to log into it. And if you didn't publish it yet, you can publish it right here and you have the option to share this article with somebody else. If maybe they want to review it before it's published, let's go ahead in here and view it. Now here you can see the post, the team Gee portable monitor review. You can see it adds a nice featured image here. In this review, we're going to take a deeper look at the Team Gee portable monitor for laptop. If you're someone who needs extra screens for your daily work, then this product is perfect for you. And then it goes on and breaks it down more images. Here you can see the nice table of contents it's created. And then it goes in the Team Gee portable monitor for laptop uses, the product specifications. You even see a video here that brought in an exact review of this product. Who is this laptop monitor for pros and cons FAQs, what other customers think overall value tips, tricks for best results and a final conclusion. And then you can monetize these however you want to. We're actually in the process now of adding Amazon buttons that will automatically be generated and added to your post. You can add Amazon ads to this. You can do your own linking if you want to go in and edit each post manually, however you want to do it. But this simplifies the entire process. And now that this is scheduled, I can just walk away and let this go. And now it's going to continue creating five product reviews a day based upon these monitor extenders. Now, obviously over time, if these are not ranking as well as I want them to, what I can always do is maybe go out and find relevant expired domains and do a 301 redirect to my home page. Or what I can also do is go out and buy guest posts or even press releases and send those to my website too, to give it an extra boost and start building the authority up even more. So really the entire process of getting this started and running it is about 15 to 20 minutes and then you can let it go. And so this makes it the absolute ultimate tool for affiliate marketers for building out websites using content that follows Google's guidelines. And as proof I showed you at the beginning of this video, guys, this content does rank. Once again, if you're on a brand new domain, it may take a little while for your site to build up authority. If you're targeting really low competition keywords, then you may start seeing rankings within the first week or two.